Hey there golfers and golfettes, Tom Segudo here, PGA member and founder of Segudo Golf with your weekly e-tip. And this week I got a tip for you on how to never top the ball again. And I'm serious, if you do the tip that I'm describing here in the drill, you will never top the golf ball again. So for all of you out there who struggle on a regular basis with topping the golf ball, this is the video for you. What happens what causes a top golf shot? Well, a lot of times I will see, you'll see the club supposed to come into the ball at impact like so, slightly descending into the golf ball, hitting the ball first, then taking a divot afterwards. Top shots happen when the reverse occurs. The golfer's coming through and they begin to flip their hands this way, unwind their hands like so, and in the process, it causes the club head to hit the top of the ball, to nick the top of the ball, and then the ball gets topped and rolls forward or wherever it wants to roll. Either way, it's not a pleasant shot and we don't want to talk about it. So how do we eliminate this shot? Well, that's one such cause. Another such cause is if you're a golfer that you have your arms staying nice and straight on the way back, and then somewhere along the lines you shorten your arms here, that's another reason you can have a top golf shot. So there's a couple of reasons, these are the most common ones. First one, we're flipping our hands like this at the ball. Second one, our arms get shorter. And when our arms shorten, imagine, like, a, like I usually talk about, the golf swing is a circle. Like a compass, you're drawing a perfect circle. So if my ar left arm is straight, and I take it back straight, and I come through with it straight, I'm going to return the club to the same spot every time. However, if I take it back and my arms shorten, I have effectively narrowed my circle. And when I narrow my swing circle, I can't emphasize this enough, straight arms hitting the ball perfect. When I narrow the swing circle, my arms shorten, and then we end up hitting above or top of the ball. Top golf shot, no fun. This will do away with these problems forever. And I call it the straight arms, straight arms drill. It's one of my favorite drills, you can't do it enough. But we need to get into this impact position where the hands are forward, the left arm is straight, the right arm is supporting. Very powerful. My weight is forward, my left arm is straight, right arm supporting. This impact position. If you get to this position, you will never top the ball because and this is assuming you have the right setup and a good ball position, but you will never top the ball because if I'm flipping my hands like this, there's a million different contact points for this club to hit the ball. I could contact at the top of the ball, I could enter the ground behind the ball, I could miss the ball completely, I could do a lot of strange things. However, if my hands are forward at impact, there's just one spot for me to enter the ground. And that's where my ball position is. So the best way to start ingraining a good habit and you'll never chop the ball again, is to make sure your hands are forward slightly in the setup here. We're gonna take a little chip shot and I want you to keep the left arm nice and straight to here. Then go through with the weight forward and the arms staying straight, hands are forward at impact. Okay. If you continue to do this, and I've even got a five iron right here, the better you can emphasize this contact, you'll start taking little divots and you will enjoy more solid contact more, most of the time. So Tom Segudo here with your weekly e-tip. Have a fantastic day out there, and I look forward to seeing you on the range. No more top shots.